Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jorge Lorenzo! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good? Jorge, it's uh, nice fantastic to see, to see you how hobbling you? on. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> Hi, how are you? How are you? Right? Good? Yeah. Yeah. Take a seat. You are very, very welcome. Uh, my first question to you, well, obviously, really is, how are you? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, just uh, four, four days or five days from the operation. Uh, unfortunately, I have a little piece of bone uh, in here. I don't know the name. How is the... Metacarpal. The foot? Metacarpal. What is this? Oh, metatarsal. Metatarsal. metatarsal yeah. yeah. Now, when you walk the, 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 the foot, yeah. how is the... Metatarsal. Ah, well, yes. Yeah. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I try my best with my, with my English. And here, so when I walk, I, I have some pain. Okay. And they, they had to take me out the, the little, little bone. So now I'm just recovering. They will take me out the, the scratches uh, on next uh, Thursday. So we'll start training again. Okay, but I'm, I'm can't fine. Wait in general, I'm very, I'm very good, very happy. Oh, hey, it's been well. It's been a roller coaster, really, two years. Um, yeah. But this year has been incredible for so many different reasons. When, when you look back at the last two years, what do you think? Well, I think uh, life is is about challenge, no? And and, and try to to get better, try to learn things. So, it was a time uh, when I was in Yamaha that uh, was not learning so much anymore, no? Because I achieved uh, my dream from I was a little, little kid that was winning the World Championship, MotoGP World Championship. I win it three times with Yamaha, so I didn't have any more, more things to, to achieve, no? And uh, I was feeling a lack of motivation. That's why I, I chose to, to move from, to Ducati uh, into, at the end of 2016. But uh, the, the swap was more difficult than I expected, no? When I tried the bike, I, I had a big shock uh, and was more difficult than I expected. I needed to change completely my riding style. I needed to work a lot. But results were not easy to, to keep uh, believing in yourself and, and uh, with confidence, but uh, working in, in the mental side and, and in my, my thinking, I, I keep going and going and working and working and finally at the end, uh, in the middle of 2018, as you saw in Mugello, mm. uh, finally we got the good, splendid victory. And but that, that was an extraordinary time, though, wasn't it? Because we couldn't believe what was going yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's a lot of talk around Le Mans, you know, like you, oh, you're going to split up from Ducati, to talk about the satellite Yamaha team. There's even talk about retirement, which is hard to believe now. Yeah. And then you go to the next round and get your first win on a Ducati. And then pretty much it's announced you're riding for Honda. What a crazy period that must have been. It was, it was. Uh, I was almost like in a, in, a de, in a little depression because, you know, when I, when I was seeing the, the possibility to retire in, in, in my head, uh, I was getting depressed, no? Normally when I imagine my retirement, in some way I was feeling happy, no? And relief because I will not feel any more the pressure and I will not get injured anymore. But really I didn't expect that when I just started feeling this possibility of retirement, I was getting depressed. And it was like that, no? It was very close for the retirement. Uh, it's true that I have another um, possibility that was going in the, in the satellite, satellite with team Yamaha. With, uh, with Yamaha. But I, it, wasn't, yeah, it was a good option, but uh, it was not the option I, I wanted. Because it no? sort of looked like it was the only option, really, other than, than opting out of racing at that time. Yeah, yeah. No, was, one, no one actually thought yeah, of it. Yeah, it was unbelievable, no? Uh, they say in motorcycle and in the sport in general, uh, your value is the, the value you, you got in the last race. And my last races were terrible. And it uh, was, was very tough for me mentally because I was working and training more than ever, but re the results were not coming, no? And I knew what, what was happening. And I knew we were just very, very close to, to get the, the good result and the, the victory. But people didn't believe because I stayed in Ducati for one year and a half and we didn't get the, any victory. But I just saw that we, was, we were very close for the victory because I was leading the race.
from the beginning of the, of the races for, I don't know, five laps, 10 laps, even 12 laps. But finally, something, we were missing something. And I knew what, what we were missing. But uh, the team, uh, probably in that moment, didn't believe anymore in, uh, in Jorge Lorenzo. And, and... and Jorge, obviously, Neil's just talked around the bike of what was developed for you, the ah. shape of the tank, and different things with the grip on, on, on the legs. Yeah. You've just been talking about your a real low point. Can you pinpoint exactly what it was? Was it the track at Mugello? Was it the tank extension? Can you pinpoint exactly what it was that just went, I'm back? Was not was not exactly. Well, people in general talk about a lot about the, the full tank uh, piece, like it was a, like a magical magical thing. But this this was just the, the last part of it, no? Because we we've been making a big and, and and long work together with the engineers in Ducati from the first moment that I arrived in the Italian factory. I. I take a bike very nervous with a very uh, rush, uh, harsh uh, first touch of throttle. The bike didn't turn. So little by little, the factory start making new chassis that before they almost do just one chassis per year. They started to do three or four chassis uh, in one year. Uh, we start trying to improve the, the first touch, the, the, the behavior to make it more smooth. So what's and in 2017, in the last race, I was coming better and better and better. I almost won in, in Misano on the rain, but I crashed with five, uh, four seconds of advantage. But in 2018, they changed the, the bike. Uh, the, the tank was like a lower and didn't support me on braking. I get more tired and I talk to, to the engineers this thing. But they or didn't understand me or they didn't believe so much about that. So we take long time for this little last piece arrive. And when it arrived, I didn't improve the speed because I already have it, like you saw at the beginning of the races. But I could keep my stamina and my, my power for, for more time. And that's why I could uh, keep, keep leading the race till the end. No? Yep. You've managed to do something over the last two years that not a lot of riders can do, change manufacture and, and make it a winning bike. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that's allowed you to grow as a, as a person, to, to adjust your riding style, as you spoke about, develop that motorbike to, to suit you, to allow you to ride to your strengths, and now you're doing it all again? Mm -hmm. So there must be a little tinge of sadness to be leaving, leaving Ducati, but excited about doing it all again at Honda? Yeah, probably in a short, short thing, is, is worse, no? Yeah. Having to change team, because for sure, as more as you stay in a, in a bike and in a team, you come in better and better, no? I remember in, the, in my eighth or ninth year in, in Yamaha, I was better than my first or second year in Yamaha. I knew more secrets of the bike, and you could go more over, uh, close to the limit. No? When you start again with a completely new bike, in MotoGP now, all the bikes are so different that uh, you take a long time to, to get used to it. It's difficult, it's, it's, it's very complicated. No? And now again, <laughs> again I have to do it <laughs> after two years. In, in another aspect, I have a lot of uh, new things, no? a lot of motivation, a lot of new challenges that other riders didn't have. But for example, you took uh, Dobby that has uh, seven or eight years in the Ducati. He knows exactly the bike. He, he... Or Mark, the seventh year in, in Honda. I don't have that now. So mm -hmm. I have to start again by zero, and this, this is difficult. The lessons you've learned from going from the Yamaha for so long to the Ducati, and now onwards, I know we can't talk about the, the future yeah. yet, but do you think personally these, these uh, lessons that you've had will help you and be stronger in the future? Yeah, for sure, for sure. When it's, it's, it's like uh, writing with, with uh, your right hand, no? And then going to, to write with the left one. Yeah, you and, feel... you, and you've, you've done it with, 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 <laughs> with Ducati. Ducati. Was, you've now got to do it like with that. Honda as well. We're going to talk about that. Yeah, um, but now I have two hands to write. <laughs> <laughs>